Syracuse students and faculty drove through messy streets and parking to get to class this week. The university parking and transit system tried their best to keep up with the daily snowfall. But the snowplowers, salters, and other management found the record snowfall surprising for this time of year. Director of Parking and Transit Al Sauer at Syracuse University said the removal process of this early snowfall will help fix problems for snowstorms to come. We were prepared and I, you know, each time we look back and we come up with what other options and alternatives can we do to maybe, you know, notify the, the campus community. So, you know, we will look back at what this was. Parking lots and garages of the university are the first spaces plowed. But students who park on the street are not as lucky as the permitted lot parkers. Cars like the one you've seen behind me have been stuck in the snow since this weekend and have little chance of getting out. Generally, in a storm situation, they are a little bit more uh, focused on the ticketing. Students parked in illegal parking zones are still being ticketed. In fact, Sauer says ticketing and towing may increase in the snowy season. Sauer says the city issued a mandatory emergency evacuation of cars parked on the street in the past. Those cars would be moved to nearby lots at grocery stores or malls. Sauer says the university would also provide parking in an emergency situation. Syracuse Transit and Parking is doing their best to make sure the street parking remains clear. But Sauer says they can only do so much, and they have to take their criticism with a grain of salt. Chelsea Damberg, NCC News.